All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. We're fucking around with Cynthia Weaver, dude. Okay, I don't know what to do. Maybe we should have brought the fucking crossbow, dude. But I haven't. I haven't upgraded it. Anything. I, I don't know, though. I was just thinking maybe. That would be a good, wise thing. I have to go back down again. Okay. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm we gotta do this every time we fucking die, man. Right. There's no switches. We don't have anything extra to help us. We don't even have fucking. Uh, we don't even have flares, dude. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Oh, she's shooting shit at me. Ow. I thought that actually was her that came. It's not, though. I hit her in the head. Hey, bitch. I said... Oh, what a waste. Oh, come on, quick, 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 quick. He was much nicer the last time I saw her, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Gotta heal. Gotta heal. No ammo. Nice. That's good. Stop it! Fuck you! KO, bitch! <laughs> I think, hopefully. You again. Lady of the Light, the huh? FBI. Sergeant yeah. Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place? That was cool though. Trapped? Right? That was fun. <laughs> I have the clicker. We can finish this. Okay, now we know. You can help. We must 
find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Black. He's in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Why did he do it though? To, to drive her to. Hey! Are you okay? <clears throat> you took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Gramps. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Nice. Good old man. Good on you. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. Story <laughs> uh, <laughs> <you>, time. <laughs> God answer. Of course you do too. <laughs> I want to know why I don't understand everything about Cynthia at all. Cobweb of my soul, so old, seeking to be whole. Let's go to the next part of the storm. You and I need to have a little chitty chat chat. We need to talk. Damn right. Get a t shirt on, man. Lots for me to explain. But not here. Not there. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> what don't I know? Okay. Got me now, dude. You got me now, dude. Okay, to So, my grandpa. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true. Why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. I fucking hate that shit. Dude. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. <laughs> So we're going on the family line first though. Curious about the dad though. Talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. But who who was? Who Always was? thinking too many steps ahead. That's was, not how Who was the work. dad? What was his name? There was trouble. Do we know what? We don't know. Then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. And David. With David. Right, good. I won't stop until they're safe. Mom! You said you were a shitty father to my mom. 
Freya. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. <clears throat> Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. That's the fucking problem with protecting people. You can't be honest with them all the time. Yeah, so the mind place you know then. about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. She passed the lies. Passed this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? And we got the clicker. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. It's closed. Alright, Thor. Good. You're back in base, man. Nice. You think he, he he's never met Logan, though, right? With Wake in FPC custody and me off the case, my options are limited. Can Tor and Odin help me? Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. We did. We did. We've been a bit uh, Wake slow down. Wake Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Got it. Back versus fiction. Thor and Odin understand the true nature of the mind place. Um. Oh. <clears throat> Bad. Uh. They know more about the mind place than I do. They know me. The mind place isn't some mental technique. It lets me inside people's heads see the truth. What? He makes me sound like some kind of mind reader. Seer. Our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. Whoa. It's a lot to process. True. This would explain why my memories haven't changed like everyone else's. Um. All Andersons have powers. Mom never told me about them because she thought they were dangerous. Wanted me to have a normal life. Not a mom leaves. 
Is it? No. 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 <laughs> Communicating in a Torin mind place. Torin Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place. Thanks to their own powers. I'm a seer. Uh, I can see into people's heads. Torin Odin aware of mind place because they have powers too. Two. Mom taught. Thor's power was dangerous, didn't want me around it. Is that why she left? Mom called the mind place make believe. She didn't want me knowing about the Anderson powers. Two, and my father had problems. There was trouble. Freya took me away after that. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Not a good dad, too. Reckless. Pushing my father away was last straw for mom. Was too the reason my father left. Sure sounds like like it. Right. Next case. What do we have, dude? In the story. A lot of shit dude. The clicker acts like an amplifier. It can magnify the reality changing effects of art. Uh, there we go. So Wake writes a story, the dark place makes it change reality and the clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense. Because Wake wrote the story, only Wake can edit it. How to stop the story? Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. Not much time left. Need and I'll need to, to make keep an eye on him. Permanent. Because Wake wrote, uh, blah, blah. I need Wake's cooperation in order to fix this. I can't do it alone. The Anderson family is immune to the effects of the story because of a hereditary power. Nope. That's sold. I know, I know. It's not okay. The story doesn't affect me like it does other people. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Because yeah. of who I am. Ah. Uh, because oh. of my family. Okay. Right. Good. So long as my head is safe from the story, I can focus on fixing this shit. The area around an overlap is always flooded. Okay. Does the overlap cause the flooding? Why, why is it flooded though? I entered the dark place by playing two on Odin's song. I did. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the Dark Place's focus on art? A song about remorse, a float about murder, a poem about terror. I'm seeing a pattern. All artistic works tied to dark events. The theme of the song was regret. Remorse for how Thor treated my mother, Freya. Alright, dude. Thank you, Thor, for, for telling me this tour. I need to go find Wake to stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. <laughs> Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Good. Thanks, Grandpa. All right. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. Yeah, someone's gotta get shots of the Anderson's finest. We'll fix us both up. Yep. Get some See fucking moonshine soon, in him. Saga. Get him out of bed. Right, okay. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake FBC. and I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Right, rightful station. Casey. 
Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. And what the fuck is he? Did, did he go with... Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To wake. I was thinking about that earlier. I didn't really know where Casey is. Uh. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. Play God, right? Right. I got to get the clicker into Wake's hands and make him fix this ASAP. But he's still in FPC custody. As soon as possible. Get Wake out. Alright, give the clicker to wake is the next thing we have to do, so we gotta go to the sheriff's station. We can investigate the previously flooded area though, if we want to, with our three shotgun shells, fuck. Previously flooded, what, what, what area was fucking flooded hell though? The basement? Odin loses an eye, yo. It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother, are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. <laughs> right on, dude. Uh, we can cut this up, up though. Okay, we're going this way. Back. Right. Sheriff station. Yo. Uh, but... Do we have... Any lunchboxes and all? Because maybe I should close my fucking Discord. Maybe that helps a bit on the... On the... Freaking FPS, dude. This. Nope. The previously flooded area, though. Is that. It's not this, right? Is that what they mean? Or is it just. In the basement or something? I don't know. I and mean, we have the fucking rifle, yo. Oh, what's the doorknob for the rifle? 
Cynthia Slam. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. Right. Still flooded down here though. Why? Can I, uh, thank you? It won't open. Twenty six fucking hours, dude. Holy moly. I wonder where that Dona is. Not here. Where the fuck would it be here? <sighs> My dudes. Not the door knob, but. We need shit, so... I can't budge. get through this. So... How the fuck do we get out? Uh... I'm back here, dude. I'm going all the wrong ways. Mm 
Вот. Seriously, dude. Am I really that fucking brain dead? it open are you kidding me I I uh, I am lost lost for worlds. What am I doing? We read all of this so well. Did I check this? And the door not be here. I doubt it. I don't think so, dude. To be sure, is that like? We don't have it, right? Like, you're an FBI agent, you can open a door without a fucking doorknob.
This motherfucker right there, dude. We don't have shit for this. God, I want to know how you get in there, dude. Riddle for your rifle. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the Greek. Inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. Oh, wasn't it in the reception? Didn't we talk about that hours ago? It's not, it's not. No. <laughs> How do we get inside this fucking... Alright. Check the room out. I do actually have a... Uh, space for it now. I'm sorry for using so much time, but I really like to go and snoop around, dude. <laughs> Door knob. Nice. Cool. Fuck yeah. Muffin! Muffin! Muffin, man! The muffin, man? So, is there something else inside that fucking room though? Hey yo! Plum! Is Plum dead? Sweet pastures now. Mm. That's true. What about that one and this one and that one and that one? Too far gone. A vacuum, baby. A rifle. Ready for a fight achievement. Okay. All right. A dog with clothes on. The cult storms the lodge. <clears throat> Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mom's spaghetti. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. What? All right.
Did we go inside a house too? Or? What the fuck is Rose? I'm gonna miss this place. <laughs> Where do you think Rose got to? Oh, who knows with that girl? I always see her running off in the middle of the night. <laughs> Good for her. Live life while you can. Oh, a lady should be in bed with her Christie novels at that hour. Oh, boo. Don't be so old fashioned. All right. What was her name? Mandy May? Norman? Later, guys. Let's check if I, go, if I see Rose. Hey! Be kind. Where the fuck is Rose gone? Where's Octi? Gotta use the crossbow next time though. The, the reload time kind of put... Uh, reload time put me off. I'm using it. Ah, old buddy, old pal. Don't give a flying fuck about the world around you, do you? Donna, what's for dinner today? She's still going on? How long are you going to? When examining your car's engine for problems, start with the big three. Bad fuel mixture, no spark, or low compression. Issues with the air fuel mixture are most commonly caused by a clogged intake valve, a problem in the fuel injection system, or impurities in the fuel itself. Lack of spark is caused by faulty spark plugs, wires, or ignition timing. Low compression is usually caused by worn piston rings, leaks in the intake or exhaust valves, or a hole in the cylinder head. Were you a mechanic back in the day? Broskis, what the fuck are you? Tour? What? That's two. He was supposed to get his ass up here, yo. Fuck. This door, dude. Arty. No. Rose. No way, Jose. Stupid idea. Well, she's downstairs knitting. Just like Norman.
Well, I'm guessing we're all over, right? Oh fuck! We played for 45 minutes, dude. Oopsie! I I forgot. <laughs> okay. So that was a long one, right? Uh, well, anyways, we're ending it then, and then we're heading to the sheriff's office. Taking a long route though, where we haven't been. So uh, on that note, bye bye.